What's up everybody? Welcome back to Diesel Creek. My name's Matt. If and you don't know, I am a bit of an auction junkie. I do love to go to the auctions. I don't buy as much as a lot of people, but you know what? That's because I only buy the stuff that I know I can either make money on or get a screaming hot deal on. So, you guys seem to like the videos of me going to the auction and perusing things and uh, picking them apart and showing you what's wrong with them, what to look for and whatnot. So, the uh, Ritchie Brothers auction goes off tomorrow. That means we are out here today doing our final inspection, doing a walkthrough and seeing what kind of junk we might be interested in. As you are no doubt aware by now, the price of everything is through the roof. So, uh, hopefully that doesn't reflect in our auctions tomorrow, but I think it probably will. That being said, there is still always something good to buy at the auction. So, I'll see you guys there. Is she gonna pop off? I was going to say, I don't remember if those have glow plugs automatically or not. The old Caterpillar 246 skid steer here. She's been road hard and put up wet, but still has some life left in her. Oh yeah. That doesn't sound bad. <laughs> Horn blows. I think it has a 78 inch bucket, maybe even an 80 inch, pretty good sized bucket. Like it when it wears through the bushings and wears out the fits. That's my favorite. <clears throat> we all get a little looser in our old age, Bob. <laughs> it does have some nice shoes on it, though, man. Those are brand new. Look like the rims might be new as well. I was talking with some of my uh, gearhead buddies not that long ago and we were talking about body rot on vehicles and they asked me if that really shows up in the heavy equipment world yeah yeah we get weight reduction you can definitely tell this machine has seen some salt the good news is it's got plenty of uh, built-in rust preventative down here so the frame never gonna rot Honest to God, I like it. It ain't bad. Bucket pins are the worst of it. That's not bad. It ain't bad at all. <sighs> That's... I'll buy this and put my bucket on it and flip this. Yeah. Definitely a strong contender there. Not for myself, but Buddy Bob here. It's, it's going to be sitting in his driveway. I can feel it. <laughs> I'm going to have to haul it. Yeah, because I don't trust the truck I bought from here. <laughs> Good Catch a gear. We're going to shut it back off because there's an oil pressure light blaring at me. Oh, there's two back here that are frozen, rusted. I don't need to blow that thing up at the auction. She's a beaut though. I think this is really similar to the one that DeBoss Garage just used to set the truck back on the Shermanator he's working on. 
His was pretty rotted out too. Wonder if that's a thing with these. We got what I think is a 90s D6D here. And I tell you what, the people did a really good job putting a nice new paint job on it. But man, I've never actually seen one with this front end on it. It is the ugly duggling of the cat dozers. Old Let's Dig 18 just bought himself a nice 6D. And uh, his has got the, the classic rounded front end. This thing is ugly. But it, is, it does look like a nice machine. Oh, yeah. Had a winch on it that they took off, but they left the control on it for some reason. Give her some throttle there. That's starting up nice. That was impressive. surprised me I kind of like these uh these would have been nice for when I was doing my shop clearing I could have picked up all my logs and hauled them around a lot easier that's a nice size loader I think that's just a hair bigger than the old fat Alice but definitely a lot nicer and newer a more creature comforts going on there 972 M cats I've run those I'm not a giant fan of them and some cranes that'll go way out of my price range. Over here browsing the skid steer attachments here. Got, got a few things, not a ton. This here's an asphalt planer. That spiky drum there spins around and mills down the asphalt, cuts grooves in it or whatever. Pretty high dollar attachments. This thing here's like a little laser level box grade be nice for putting in a lot of driveways but it's a yeah i don't know if i'd use it plus i got christine i don't want to offend her i believe in the last auction video i did i explained that a lot of the stuff that keeps coming to this auction is from the shell cracker plant that they built not too far from here and man that smell again? it's been uh the job is winding down and they keep sending more and more stuff up here and they have got a lot. These are all hydrostatic testing pumps for pressure testing lines. It's amazing stuff like this though. I mean, these are all just te pressure test headers that are so specific that you know these are going to go for a, a fraction of what they cost originally. Like I bet you each one of these things was probably almost a grand or more and now there's 300 of them here that are going to sell for like 50 bucks probably and each valve cost yeah each each quarter turn valve there's what 10 bucks if not more yeah they got flow valves on them pressure regulators everything's tig welded laser cut all aluminum a lot of money in fab work there and it's going to sell for next to nothing but it's already served its purpose i guess man i i know i made a big deal out of how many welders they had last time but i think they have it beat this time each one of these stations has four welders in it there is a crap load of welders. I think AVE has been here. Boys, now those are some big turbos. Huh? Huh? Look at the size of these electric motors that run them. I mean, good lord. Those things move some air. If you ever wondered what a 100 horsepower electric motor looks like, it looks like that. Like this. That is one big motor. Yeah, just like that. Think you can lug that to the car? Man, somebody got a little aggressive with the old finishing bucket here. Shoo, buddy. She's all caddy wampus. Man. Well, I really, really need a sheep foot roller right now for working on the shop. This would do the trick. That's got some hellacious spikes on it. That'll do some packing. I hope it goes cheap. 
because if I'm going to spend a bunch of money, I want it to have a motor on it. You know what I mean? I think it's oil filled as well. That's what it says online. Everybody needs a Hummer in their life. Got nice tires. Troop carrier setup. Man, I could throw some toolboxes in this thing. Ooh, seat's wet. Roof leaks. Still got the scanner radio in here, I think. This was from a police force. If you've never seen the inside of an H1, they're pretty bare bones. Parking brake, automatic trans. Let's see. I don't know, they, they got a key in here. This isn't factory, but it should start like this. I'm not getting any any sign of life, so I think the battery's dead. That's a bummer. Would have really liked to heard this thing run today. They have got an absolute crap load of these boxes here. They're pretty slick. So what these were, were job site plan boxes where you keep all the blueprints, I imagine. And uh, the TV here, I'm sure, would project your prints up there and you could actually study your prints and zoom in and all that fanciness. Yeah, look at that, you got keyboard deal in here. But I tell you what, this would make one heck of a uh, media center for a man cave or a uh, in the shop. I know these were very expensive new, but they're not new anymore. And there's a lot of them here, so they might go pretty cheap. Look at this we got yeah all kind of plans to the cracker plant that's pretty wild isn't it look how intricate that is they must have a hundred of these things here well this thing here doesn't look like much but could be a good buy it's been sitting here for over a year at this point it's in the inoperable aisle i don't know why it's got a 24 volt 24 valve cummins in it it's got these nice fuel hose setups uh so that's pretty slick crappy crappy toolbox here random assorted junk in it but a few good little odds and ends nice little workbench here with the locking drawers you know that's great for mobile setup um nice fuel tank in it and it has onboard air decent little vice you know it was definitely a service truck of some kind but it's in the inoperable aisle for a reason reasons i do not know as you guys have seen in the past sometimes the stuff in this inoperable aisle can be a decent buy i got my crane truck back here for 800 bucks This thing has got onboard air compressor, and maybe some other stuff too. I don't know what all it actually has. Air compressor setups, two different PTOs. So I don't know what the other one would be for. Oh, it's a generator. Boss generator, interesting. Definitely gonna keep an eye on it. I think it's gonna go for under five. I'll say that. Got a ton of shipping containers made into offices out here and ones that are just for storage and everything else. Getting into some more of the stuff that's a little more my style here. Got an old Terex haul truck. I have no use for one of those, but potentially interested in this little Volvo ECR58 here though. It's a nice little machine. There we go. There we go. Oh, it's got the Diesel Creek belt squeal. I need to own this then.
good bit of slop on that bucket in the coupler. Oh, and the stick. Yeah, I don't know. She's pretty sloppy. I bet you this thing goes for more than it's really worth. I'm going to say this thing's going to go for around 27. I got a few more excavators here, but I, I think I'm pretty good on excavators this size. I think I need to get a mini to top off my collection, then I'll be pretty well done. And finally, the last thing I got my eye on here, nice old galleon roller, about a 25, 26,000 pound machine. Nice little unit. I think it's got a 5.9 in it. Very clean for the year. So the entire controller mechanism here is all loosey-goosey and I think that would be pretty easy to take apart and tighten up. The engine looks pretty clean. More hydraulic leakage up there but nothing major. Rear end isn't all hammered up. Got some fuel or oil leaking over here too, but again, nothing too major. I don't know, might have to go after that. That would be very nice to have on my building project here. I'm gonna say that this thing is gonna go for between 15 and 20. Well, the inspection time is over. It's time for the real deal. Let's see if we can't uh, score some sweet deals on some stuff here. Sweet! Just bought all three of those. All right, well, we were off to a good start, as you can see there. I managed to pick up all three of those snorkel scissor lifts for $250 a piece, and that is a steal of a deal in my book. I did go after this galleon roller pretty hard, but at the end of the day, it's a 1995 model, and though it was in good shape, I really couldn't see spending uh, $16,000 plus on this thing. Because uh, especially, yeah, look, at my next bid would have been sixteen five. I just... I didn't have the heart after the auction fees and everything. I would have been probably close to 20000 I just couldn't do it. I did manage to pick up this uh, Lincoln Vantage 400 uh, diesel welder for my brother-in-law. He was looking for one, so I don't think we're probably going to see much of it on the channel, but I did manage to pick it up. I got the Freightliner step van there, as you can see, and looky, looky here, the old Humvee. She might just have to come home with me. Really thought pretty hard on this uh, Takeuchi TL-150 as well, but I really just don't have the time to be messing with it. 
Well, it's the day after the auction, and lo and behold, I ended up coming home with this thing. Not me, but Buddy there, Bob the electrician. I think you got a pretty fair price on it, $10,000. So I think it's a pretty good machine for that price. It sounded real healthy. Uh, new rims and tires. Bucket's a little worn out and flimsy, but we can always weld that up or replace it or whatever. So we're going to get it hauled out of here along with all the other treasures that I've managed to pick up. What a gem. What a gem. That's going to be a good one. All right, well, I don't know what the deal was there. It was flashing a code. The seat belt light and the park brake light were flashing and we couldn't get the brake off, so I pulled the battery. Let it set a second, put it back on, fired right up, park brake came off, so I don't know. We'll have to Google that one. Four. A little bit more. Right there. Beautiful. I hear the turbo. It sounds good. I think you got a good machine. Well, just like that, we are tied down and ready to roll. That's item number one. So as you guys saw, I got some decent deals all the way around here today, but I'm actually most proud of these guys. I've been holding out and I've passed up on like $750 man lifts because I knew someday I would get a better buy. $250, $250, $250. Man, I call that a W. And if I would have been paying attention, I could have bought all four of those for $250 too probably. Somebody just beat me by like a half a second. I didn't even want those because they're too big. They just take up too much room in a shop. And these ones will do everything that I need to do. But for $250, I'd have bought all four. Well, we got two man lifts on already. Here comes the third one. Hard to film all the action. Are you guys excited? I mean, I know you didn't buy it, but but I, are you excited? Because I'm excited. I'll be real honest, I didn't even look at this thing too well because I didn't think I was gonna buy it. I thought that this was gonna go for closer to $20,000. And the only reason I bought it is because it was cheap. And I've never seen one sell for less than $20,000. So, I think I mentioned earlier in the video, the top does leak. So that's gonna be an issue. Maybe you guys know some ways to fix that or something, or a good cheap place to find some new tops. But uh, the battery was dead when I looked at it prior to the auction. So I got the cables on it right now. It's a 24 volt system, so I can only charge one battery at a time. But we got some things happening now. So I'm gonna let that charge a bit. See if we can't get this thing fired up. The guys here at the auction said it ran and they drove it around, so. Fingers crossed, I'm, I'm pretty excited about it. Well, I have no idea if it's gonna go, but we can try. We need more power. Oh. It works. Oh. 
Battery voltage is going bananas. That's interesting. We'll let it warm up a bit and see what happens. So I actually started this thing up right before I hauled that cat skid steer. And I left it run while we hauled it home. Charge up the batteries. Still running good. Everything's still looking good. I even got over a half tank of fuel, if that gauge is correct. That's pretty nice of them. The seat is awful wet due to the leaking roof, so I'll stick my knee pad down there, try and keep my horse from getting soaked. <clears throat> All right, well, here's my first time driving a Hummer. With that low, high, neutral. Put that guy there, put that guy in drive. Oh yeah, it's ready to gallop. Boys, we bought a freaking Hummer. <laughs> I never really thought that this was one of my life goals, but at the same time, I kind of feel like I just did one of my life goals. Oh, like a kitten. Well, got that baby strapped down, ready to roll. First time I've hauled one of these things. I knew it would fit. They're actually not heavy. Everybody thinks they're heavy. They just look big and bulky. If anything, they catch a lot of wind. I think it only weighs, should say right on this thing. Yeah, actually says right on there. 4,800 pounds what this thing weighs. Time to unload this beast. Well, she touched down. Not too bad. Kind of like that old hummer. Well, here we are the next day here, and I'm finally getting a chance to play around with these man lifts. I guess uh, I talked to one of the guys out at the auction, you know, one of the guys that works for Ritchie Brothers, and he said that he thought they remembered these working when they came in, and that the batteries probably just died. Because if you don't remember, the listing said could not be tested. And when I previewed everything before the auction, I tried to make these things do anything, and they would not. All right, well, it's the next day. I just kind of tossed these things under the roof here to try and get them out of the weather in case it rained. Not that they haven't been sitting in the rain for a few weeks now anyways. But um, if you remember, when I previewed these in the auction... I couldn't make them do anything, no signs of life at all, which I, I'm pretty sure is just dead batteries. 
Now, whether the batteries are any good and will hold the charge or not remains to be seen. So, we got some extension cords. I'm going to go fire up the light plant. And we can get some electricity going here and see if we can't cook these things for a while and see if they come to life. All right, well, I managed to get the door open here. This one, you know, it looks like it's not probably a factory charger that they have down in here. This little box is the the charger that charges your battery bank here. And uh, maybe you guys can tell that connection there doesn't look awe-inspiring. And it almost looks like there's a feather stuck down in that battery. I don't have any gloves on or I'd pull it out of there. I don't want to get battery acid all over me. But I don't know if you guys can see, down inside the battery there's a bunch of little lead plates and that's how batteries work. Um, but there's a bunch of corrosion and debris between all the plates and that's what happens when your batteries go bad. So I'm thinking these batteries are probably shot in this one, but we'll try it anyways. Charger gonna do anything? Looks like we have a light going on on the charger, so that's a good sign. So I mean, I got a screaming deal on these man lifts anyways, but of course if these batteries are all usable, or any of them are usable, that just makes the deal that much better. Well, we got lights going on in there. Huh. Uh-oh. Something's beeping at us, I don't know what that means. See what happens with lift number three here if we're gonna have the same issue. This charger here, I think, is the factory one. It says snorkel on it, and it's the same as that other lift we just plugged in. This one has interstate batteries in it, though, that's a good sign. And I popped the tops off, they look better inside. Well, the one battery I can check. Yep, she's beeping at us. Dang it. Hmm. Well, I don't think it's going to do any good, but I'm going to let that sit here and cook for a little bit and see if anything happens. So as you saw, we got the scissor lifts all home here, played around, and I did manage to get that one to take enough of a charge to go up that high, and now it won't, now it won't go down. So probably going to be a whole video on getting these scissor lifts all operating and functioning, and then uh, before you even ask, I think I have the two that I don't need sold. So I'm going to keep one for myself and sell the other two, and... Uh, they are already spoken for. I know if I don't say that, I'll get about 200 emails, and I'm probably still going to get about a dozen, even though I said it. The Hummer. The Hummer is awesome. Got the Hummer home here. Drove home fine. Um, definitely has a few little stupid issues on it. Nothing major that I've noticed. And uh, probably do a whole video on getting this thing, going through it, and uh, having some fun with it. I'm looking forward to having some fun with it. So, unless he cons me into helping him fix it, that's going to be his problem. Now, the only thing that we haven't talked about yet is that step van that I bought. Well, I'm pretty excited about the step van, and I was looking forward to uh, hooking up some cables to that thing and seeing what the story is there. It says it doesn't run, but the engine looks great, all the fluids look great. I don't see any reason externally why it wouldn't run, unless it had something catastrophically come apart, which I really don't think so. So uh, that was going to be a fun will it run, and it still might be, but I did get a call from Ritchie Brothers today, and they said that they were uh, having a delay on getting the title from the company that owns it. So they wanted to collapse the sale and refund me, and I said, well, I'd really, really rather have the van. And they said, okay, well, we can, we can wait a while and try and see. So we're going to wait a while and try and see, and hopefully I end up getting the van. All that being said, I guess that about wraps up this week's auction video. All that said, I think that wraps up the spring auction video here, and uh, pretty excited. We got some cool purchases out of it, and hopefully uh, we get some cool content out of it. I'm sure we will. I'm really looking forward to that van, like I said, honestly. I mean, this stuff's cool, but it was almost too easy. Like, I just got in it, and it started, and it's like, I don't even have to rebuild the engine before I can use it, so that's kind of weird. 
So I think the step van is actually a little bit more our flavor and we should get some cool videos out of that. So stay tuned. And if you like the auction videos, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button down there. It really helps out the channel. It doesn't cost you guys anything. And as always, thanks for watching. I will see you on the next one. Later.